today we're doing a device review on the Quattro from Prodior. Quattro has been on the market for a little while now and it has some unique differences that separate it from all the other knees that are in its category. First off, it has the shortest build height. It comes in at eight and a half inches tall and 3.65 pounds, so just over three and a half pounds, which makes it a really low profile. You know, you can fit anything underneath it. If it's somebody, maybe a knee disarticulate or something like that, that has a really long limb, this is an awesome option for that. Quattro is also IP67 water rated, so that means that it's fully waterproof. You can take it in the lake, you can take it in the pool. I, I wouldn't recommend doing that too often. I would definitely let it dry out and, and really make sure it's clean, if, especially if you get in salt water, but it is rated to do that. I've been on Quattro for about a month and a half now, and uh, it took me a few minutes to get comfortable with it because there are some philosophic differences between it and the knee that I'm used to walking on every single day. Um, a lot of those things come down to safety. Quattro is super intuitive, but it is designed with safety as the backbone of that intuitiveness. And so it really needs um, direct feedback from the user in order to do the things that it's going to do. And as you use it longer and longer, then those things become really intuitive and it becomes comfortable and natural. I'll be demoing Quattro with the Cantera foot, a hydraulic ankle, which Proteer calls the Supreme Combo, which does give you a lot of that triple flexion kind of, you know, getting flexion out of your ankle and your knee and your hip, creating some of that senses triple flexion. So we're going to start our video today on the Gate Lab app, which is the clinician side app. And that app is, is how everything gets set up on the back end. Um, this isn't available to patients, but this will give you a good idea of how to get the knee set up and what some of the functions in that setup are designed to do. Then when we're done with the setup, we're going to go into the Freedom Innovations patient side app, which will explore all of Quattro's modes. Quattro comes with 20 different programmable modes. Some of those are pre-programmed, but then you can add in more. Um, so you can really get this thing to do what you want it to do and, and fine tune it in a lot of different ways. Okay, so on setup, we're gonna go here into our Gate Lab app, and click the Quattro. I am already paired to this one, so we're not gonna put in the pin or anything. And then you go to the full setup here at the top. And then you just click through the arrows, and that is nice, it gives you the bench alignment, has flexion stops, and then you do a real quick knee unloaded and then a knee loaded and then you do 10 steps it, it shorts out here on me and gets it done before then um, but it does 10 steps fully to get that calibration and then static alignment and then you're really done it goes through the settings after that with the buttons on the front you also have got a way to manually lock the knee so if you double double click the uh, mode switch button that middle button it will lock out in that flexion or fully extend and then you walk away and that also switches modes. Here we are about to start walking, walking with stance knee flexion. And so what is cool about Quattro is that you can control your extension resistance. And so that is basically how far that knee is going to swing out in front of you before it stops and flexes. But then also your stance extension resistance. So that is once there, I landed and then flex back over to full extension before I go back into swing like that. You can control that stiffness as well, which makes a difference if you want to really get that dialed in. Back to the safety side, kind of more of those philosophy things. Here I'm going to be using the stance lock. And so you see, I use this all the time. Once you wait it for three seconds, it's locked. But what's different about Quattro is that you could shift your weight all around, shift up onto your tippy toes, you know, really move around on this thing. And it is not going to release and go into its swing mode, into its walk mode. It only will release once you pull weight off of it like I just did. Once weight is fully released, it releases. Another cool feature that I've been using on Quattro is the obstacle assist. And so this is just... A little bit nicer in some ways because you don't have to do an extension moment like you're going upstairs or anything. It's just getting your hip up to 35 degrees, I believe it is. And so once you are at that angle, then the knee releases and allows you to kind of step over things. And as you get better at it, obviously I'm lifting pretty high in some of these. Um, but as you get better at it, it is smoother. And that one was a little cleaner to, to kind of just make it a more natural movement. It really is just lifting the distal end, the bottom of your residual limb up over that. 
stairs, obviously Quattro is missing stair ascent, um, but on stair descent, especially with this Cantera foot, you can see I really get almost the same action of a census where I can keep my whole foot on the stair and really ride that thing down. And so it makes it a more comfortable controlled stair descent. And that's that's really nice. It's nice to be able to have your whole foot on the ground and feel just a little or on the stair and, and have a little bit of that more natural gait movement. The resistance on stair descent is also independent from sitting. On the last firmware update, they came out with a rehab mode, which allows you to do a supported standing and a supported sitting. There is a timer on the supported standing. So I have it set at two seconds. It could be set anywhere from zero to 100. And once you hit that timer, it will time out and apply a resistance that will support you sitting back down. But then once you go back into your regular walking mode, that resistance is not tied to anything. It won't affect your regular sitting resistance. So that's some of the basic walking functions and setup of Quattro. I think that the calibration and everything is super simple through, through the Gate Lab app, which again is the clinician app. Um, we're about to switch over to the Freedom Innovations app, which is the patient side. So now you can see kind of how the patient will navigate through there, which is very similar and work towards changing their modes and, and doing things like that. So to start with golfing mode, we'll click here into our Freedom Innovations app, go down to golf and then we will go to the adjustment tab and we will click on the 15 degrees. So golf mode is designed to lock out at that 15 degrees. So you can see right now the knee is locked and it won't let me go past that. If I want to, then I release my weight and then sink back into it. But so that is for right now, I would use the 15 degrees as golf mode. So I'd be here, I'm a righty and get that good pivot, but I still feel safe all the way through. I have a good comfortable balance here. And then when I need to go get my ball, I could still walk and go get it. The only thing that you do need to think about is if you're walking down a hill, you know, you're not going to be able to yield this knee if it's locked out in golf mode in any of those angles, because eventually it'll get to that point where it stops. And then if you've ever been in that position where maybe you put your foot too far on the stair, you know, coming downstairs or down a ramp or something, and you get thrown forward. So that is one thing to be conscious of is when you're walking down hills on the course or something like that, know that this thing is still gonna be locked so you gotta be a little bit more careful. But lock, locking there really is for safety when you're swinging and hitting the ball and doing all that good stuff. So now we're gonna adapt our golf mode a little bit and use it for some different activities. So we're gonna go back into the Freedom Innovations app. We're gonna click on our golf mode and go down to the adjust tab again. And I'm gonna slide my angle up to 35 degrees and we're gonna work on bowling. Now as you can see, even me standing on it right here, I've got a lot more bend there and uh, can move around quite a bit, but it's still locked and safe. So one thing that I think that this could be used for and I wanna use it for is for bowling. Um, because if you think about it, you know, when I bowl, I'm bowling straight legged, throwing the ball straight, everything else. But now give me a little bit of grace here because this won't be super pretty. But you see, I've locked at this 30 degrees, so I can get low. I'm a righty again when I throw. And so I'll be one, two, three, and coming through. So again, that's just another way that like, you know, not, of us are bowl not a lot of us are bowling every, every week, but if you are, like, that's awesome. <laughs> I'd love to join a bowling league. But two, <laughs> to be able to just adapt my golf mode to do that, and like really for me, I think that maybe I would want to go back to like, 22 degrees and that would be a perfect angle for me bowling um, but I wanted to show kind of the adaptability because you could just slide that over to 22 degrees and then get that better angle um, so golf mode for bowling as well and we'll just give a little little side angle approach here that was a better one huh yeah <laughs> And then lastly, we'll go back into our Freedom Innovations app and again, click on golf, click on adjustments, and then we're going to adjust our lunge setting, that high angle all the way up to 70 degrees so I can get a really deep lunge. And then we're also going to turn our timer down to zero. That way the knee doesn't lock on me when I'm trying to go back to extension and I can make it really smooth and it'll be comfortable. In golf mode here again up to I have my locking angle up to 70 degrees and my timer down to zero. So that allows the knee to just release for me once I'm 
in this deep squat. But you can see I could do lunges on this thing. I mean, if we really want to do two lunges, bang, bang, bang. And so you could do lunges, bowling, obviously, golfing. Um, I think like this is like a good representation. Like you could do yoga on this thing. There's a lot of different things that you could do if you're creative with your modes. So that's a few ways that you could adapt golf mode with those locking angles and the lockout timer as well. Um, I've talked to patients that have used it, you know, doing, like I said, for yoga or Pilates, other people that have used it like horseback riding and things like that. So there are a lot of different ways to adapt those modes. Next, we're going to get into cycling. It's intuitive cycling, so that means that it recognizes once you get to 75 degrees and then it starts giving you less resistance so that you can pedal and do the things that you need to do. And then once you get back off and off of the bike and get that knee back out to full extension, then it goes back into a walking situation. We're going to walk up here to the bike, pull up our Freedom Innovations app and switch over to cycling. Now, as soon as I put my foot into the stirrup here, you, the knee recognizes, okay, I'm about to start cycling because I got up my hip up to that 75 degree angle. So the knee is at that 75 degree angle. It doesn't resist me at all. I can get on here, pedal well. And then once I get off, I am really attentive to let's get that full extension. And now I can walk on it and go get a drink. And then after I get my drink, come back to the bike and get back on. And again, as soon as I pull that knee up and lock it in the stirrup, it gets to that 75 degrees and recognizes, okay, we are cycling again. It's not going to resist me, allows me to pedal all that I need. And then again, when I need to get off, I jump off, push that knee back to full extension and it is back into walking. That's intuitive cycling. One thing that is important to note is that you want to go back into your Freedom Innovations app and switch back to walking once you are done cycling. Of course, the knee is intuitive, so when you get off and you go to that extension, it'll start walking. But if you're doing your regular walking and you're not walking just to like get a drink and go back to the bike, it could you could reach that 75 degree angle at certain times and then the knee goes into a free swing, so it could create some sketchy moments. So just be sure once you're done cycling, you switch back into your walking mode. So because Quattro has so much adjustability and so many modes, it really is worth playing with on the user end. So go into your Freedom Innovations app and mess around with different things. I created a mode called Mac Mode. Mac is my baby, and when I am carrying her around, it's harder for me to see my feet, harder for me to see what's on the floor, and so you're just a little bit more unsure, you know? And especially carrying an eight-month-old baby, I don't want to fall. So I created Mac Mode. Mac Mode will go in here and, and see everything, but it, I made everything stiffer. I turned off uh, obstacle assist so that I never got into like a little bit of an unsteady situation. And that way I always feel comfortable and secure carrying her around. So now we're on the stairs here in my Mac Mode and I have my resistance set up big time. It's a lot of resistance on the stairs. So here we have the Gate Lab app. You can see kind of the differences. On the left is my Mac Mode settings and I have my stair resistance, my ramp resistance turned up way high. Same with my sitting resistance. I also have my, my flexion angle down just a little bit more so that my foot is out in front of me a little bit faster. I also have um, my, my swing extension um, turned down a little bit as well so that that knee is maybe not landing quite as flexed as it normally does and it's out in front of me a little more so I just know that I'm safe in control when I have her. That's some of the ways that you can adjust Quattro. It really is cool in all of the adaptability that it brings. Quattro only comes in black. In the one that I'm wearing, in some of the like marketing pictures and things that you see, there is even like a little carbon fiber um, sticker on it, but I want to make it clear that that's not carbon fiber. I've had some questions about that. It's not carbon fiber. It is just like a protective sticker. It looks cool. Um, but it's nothing, it's not carbon. And it, again, it only comes in black as well. Another major thing about Quattro is that it has firmware updates that Proteer sends out quarterly, a couple times a year, just depends on how the tech is advancing. But that means that you can take your knee into your prosthesis and your prosthesis can update the knee over the cloud. And so like the last, the last firmware update had the rehab mode, uh, it like improved the cycling and a couple other things. And so like your phone, you know, once a, an upgrade comes out, you don't have to send the knee back in. 
you can just take it into your prosthetist and he can update it while you're right there in the office and basically get a new knee in a lot of ways. So that is, that is awesome. The battery on Quattro lasts about two to three days depending on your activity and that's pretty true. I, I burned it out, you know, short on those two days a few times, but most of the time it, it does what you need to do. And as long as you're plugging your, your knee in every night, that's not a big issue. It does also have booster packs that you can get, plug it in and give yourself, give yourself a little bit of extra time. Some of those walking features like stance knee flexion and the locks and everything through the GateLab app, the clinician app can be turned on and off. And so if you are a user that struggles getting back to extension and the knees locking out on you all the time because you're walking with that stance knee flexion, but you don't get quite back to full extension, then just turning that off is a good way to get rid of that lock and then it should swing smooth. But I will say that as users, we should be learning how to use stance knee flexion. It's a healthier, better way to walk. And so if you feel like that knee is locking out because you're not getting the full extension, go visit your prosthetist and adjust those stance settings so that you can get back to extension easier and not have to put as much effort into it, which should make the knee swing free as well. So I really think that this knee is designed for somebody that wants to be functional, they want to go hiking, they want to go get in water, they want to do all the things that they normally do, but they want to be safe in those situations because it will stay locked if you're weighted on it and you don't have to, you could move all around on it like I was showing and different things like that. It creates a more safe environment, especially in unstable positions. So like I was saying, I think that it is for people that value safety at, at the very top of everything and then kind of goes down from there. If you want more information on Quattro, here's their website. If you would like to reach out to me or have any questions for me, here is my email. Other than that, we'll see you next time. Thank you.